So does spam filter really protect us against uh, spear phishing attacks? Well, there are so many ways how spear phishing attacks can still bypass spam filters, but I will not talk about them today. What I will talk about is something even more dangerous, which is social media. Here's the thing. There's so many people, so many of us who use uh, social media in our work laptops. I'm not talking about Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, but I'm talking about LinkedIn as a professional network. And there's so many people who especially work in HR or even the sales team, they do use LinkedIn to, to promote their, uh, their, their company, they promote different jobs in their different careers, and so many different communication that's being done professionally through LinkedIn. The problem here is that with all of this social media, there is, there is no uh, spam filter protection that's actually happening on this social media. We don't know who are these accounts, what they are giving, what files they are sending to us, and how dangerous these files could be. Someone can send to an HR a document saying it's his resume, or can send to a sales or a marketing person. Especially now, I see so many companies, they start to apply this personal branding and they start with someone of their sales team or someone from their marketing team to be the face of the company. They build a personal brand on marketing the company. And what happens is they get in contact with so many different people who are interested in doing business with this company. That sounds great, but the bad thing is that they can easily receive uh, prospects, uh, invoices, and so many different things on their LinkedIn account. They can easily still uh, have so many tricks to send to them these files, even if they are not in a barrier contra uh, contact before. It's easy on LinkedIn to add so many different people to, to build a credibility or a fake credibility and to act as you're working in a legitimate company. There is no checks on if this person actually who claims to be working in that company or actually actually working in that company. There is no check. He can actually claim he's working on this company and nobody will even detect even this company itself. So the problem here is that the bottom line is that social media is something can bypass all of this um, email filtering and all these spear phishing uh, techniques. And you can, they can easily enumerate all the employees in the company, all of the teams that are working inside this company and send them spear phishing uh, social media messages. The, the question is, what is the procedures? What is the awareness programs? What is the, the, the tips and tricks and the, 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 the programs and the trainings that we can do to actually protect our employees or, or the people who are working in our company from being uh, vulnerable to this type of attacks. Not only the social media is a big danger, the second danger we have is the supply chain. You see, if you are working in a big enterprise, most probably that you have all the different policies in place on different um, spam filter, different technologies, and different things to protect against lots of different attacks. Well, at least I hope that you have all of that. But if there is a small company, you are building a trust, a trust, a trusted relationship with them. The problem is that they are weaker when it comes to the security part. They are a small company, their budget for security is way less, and their ability to afford really good uh, protection technologies or hiring the talents, the real talents in their security team to detect different attacks is way less. And here's the thing, it's easier uh, for an um, for an attacker or group of attackers to actually attack the small companies, get inside these companies and use uh, this trusted, uh, trusted relationship between them and the big enterprises to get into the big enterprises. They can use their emails, they can use their update uh, program if, there is, if, they are, if the big enterprise is using their tools and they are using some of their products, they can leverage the live update and actually inject the malware inside the source code. This actually happened before and actually happened in a bigger scale when they were able to get into ASUS uh, company. They get into their live update program and they were able to inject a malware inside 1 million devices in 2019. That actually happened between 2018 and 2019. And not only they got into 1 million uh, victims, but also they got into other three companies who were producing games and sell these games and they were able to inject the malware inside the source code of these games. 
able to infect way, way more people through uh, these uh, three couples, through these three games. So it was a big disaster. And here's the thing, supply chain type of attacks is way common and the use of supply chain with malware makes it really, really deadly. So what are the technologies? What are the programs, the awareness programs? What is the, the sign, the NDAs? What is the audit uh, programs to protect against these type of attacks? Social media attacks, uh, supply chain attacks, and any attack that can leverage a uh, trusted chain or trusted uh, communication channel to deliver the malware and actually um, get into one of the secure networks uh, of this enterprise. So this is a video that asks questions and talk about different threats that we are mostly facing. If you if you have an idea of what how we can protect against that, please put that in the comments. Please share these videos because we need more awareness on what type of the next attacks we are facing and what we should start investing on to better protect our employees. So hope that hope you like this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.